Hi, um, we're Steph and Sam from Magically Dyed Yarns, and this is our podcast type thing. Yes, this is episode three, so make sure you go check out our other two episodes to see what we've been up to, as well as some of the behind the scenes that I posted. Yes. Make sure that you check out our Facebook and Instagram. We are Magically Dyed Yarns on both. Um, our Instagram is probably the best way to see what we've been up to, like day to day. Yeah, I don't know. I never update Facebook. <laughs> yeah, we try to remember, but Instagram is so much easier to update. I mean, I don't know why. Because, well, and it stops like clicking. Like you have to go in and click that you want to link it to Facebook, and sometimes I forget. And yeah. I have a TikTok too, but I'm just gonna post everything on YouTube on. I don't have a TikTok because I'm I don't understand TikTok. I don't get it, so I don't know. It's just fine. Also, make sure you check our Etsy shop. Um, stay tuned for updates. Uh, we update our shop the first of every month, so watch out for those new colors. So our next shop update is going to be August 1st. Excuse the scraping of the chair, please. We have four small children between the two of us. Soon to be five. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> These babies are not terrible. No, newborns are not terrible. Lily, if you want to bump this camera, sweetheart. <laughs> All right, so moving forward, um, we're going to talk about what we're going to do for our sock update in just a little bit, but we'll start with our fish objects. That, yeah, I thought I was going to finish a scarf, but I gave up to work on a blanket. I mean, it's literally, I got like an inch left or a couple inches left. Not I have four finished objects, but one of them is in my basement. One of them, one some of the socks is missing because I have a four-year-old and that's what happens. Um, the other two are with their new owners because I made them from other people. But if you have checked our Instagram, I finished since our last um, since our last video, I finished my Hogwarts socks, which was it was Battle for Hogwarts by the Crazy Sock Lady. Um, and I did those on nine inch circulars, a US one, 64 stitches for the cast on. <laughs> this is my lovely daughter. <laughs> I think she was in our last episode. Yeah. Oh no, the shop update. Yeah. She was in. Anyway, so I finished my Battle for Hogwarts socks. Those are completed. I like them a lot. Um, I finished a pair of yellow socks that I originally knit for my niece Maddie, her daughter. Not this one, the other one. Um, but they were too small for her feet, but they happened to fit my son's feet perfectly. So, <laughs> so I just gave them to him, and then I knit a new pair for Maddie and finished those. They're the exact same, just a little longer. She yes, loves them, and she wasn't taking them off for a couple days. She even slept with them next to her bed. So, yes. And then I made a pair of socks for my sister-in-law, since she is in the hospital right now. Uh, her water broke. Okay, my daughter is obsessed with my uh, my progress keeper, and <laughs> she just really wants to hold it and rip it out of the sock. <laughs> so I'll talk about these in a minute. So I finished those. If you saw those, those were the um, the green, and purple, Ryan Beck Rumi's <laughs> socks. Also by Crazy Sock Lady. Yeah. I feel like our life is kind of crazy right now. things as I finish them and as well as what I'm working on. So with that, we will lead into our web. So what are you working on? Well, I'm just gonna finish my husband's scarf, but I am working on this beautiful mermaid inspired um, blanket for my little new niece that'll be coming soon. Yes, I'm uh, 28 weeks today, so hopefully I finish it in time. Uh, but I've been kind of just work trying to get, like I'm on a mermaid girl right now, so it's a lot, a lot of crochet and my hands get after a while. Um, but that pattern is by the yarn that binds it. I'm just using um, just a basic cheap yarn because it's so, <laughs> so much. So much yarn. Um, That's okay. I feel like acrylic yarns, like 100% acrylic yarns for baby blankets are really good because they're very durable and you can wash them and dry them without so, thinking about it. They just get a little um, fuzzy. Yeah. But like, that's most like this. Yeah, so I mean that's good because you know babies spit up and poop and all that other stuff. So they kind of want them to be a little more durable. <laughs> but it's a size high, US high crochet up. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting terms, guys. 
remembering what I'm doing. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of water. So I am working on, so this is a, kind of a half finished object. I finished one sock. I made this for my husband. Um, I used our under the tree sock set. So this beautiful brown, this beautiful variegated green color. So pretty. This is the Rhinebeck Rooney's pattern by the Crazy Sock Lady, which I know I mentioned earlier. But I really like it. Really? Do you like it too? <laughs> it's so super squishy. And I really love the fabric that it turned it into. So I made this for my husband, well this one I'm working on it for my husband. Um, I did a 64 stitch cast on with a knit 2 pearl 2 ribbing for the cup. Um, I don't remember how many repeats I did for the leg. Fishtail pattern by Mountain Mist Yarns. Um, I started, well, I'm working on these for Sock Week. For, so Sock Week 2021 with Mini Natty. <laughs> this is the sock I'm trying to do. It's my first afterthought heel, and I'm really, really scared to do it, but hey, no risk, no We're gonna try it. <laughs> and then my last thing I'm working on, I know it's so much right now, is my scrap ball. <laughs> so, this scarf, cowl, whatever you want to call it, is giving me such a bad headache because I have ripped it out and recast it on more times than I care to count. There was to a point where I'm just like, I need to take a break from this. I ripped it out. It's like, I need to take a break. Like, we need a break. So that's when I knit my last four pairs of socks. And then I recast it on. <laughs> but this is last time I'm doing it. I'm already almost done with just working on the main part and then I'm gonna be starting the branching soon. And so hopefully by the next episode, these will be done. Yeah. It's so pretty. Since I don't know when the next episode will be. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I yeah. obviously totally understand the ripping out because yeah. I ripped out the scarf even though I was like this much done, had already done a color change and I'm like, nah, I don't like these, I just wore it. <laughs> no, don't eat that. That's all. All right, so now we're talking about life. Yeah, this is our life. <laughs> um, you guys have got a nice taste of our life. Yes. She's so cute. It's fun. So we both have four-year-olds. We both have one and a half-year-olds. And then I am pregnant with baby number three. So I'll have a newborn in just about three short months. I am not pregnant. But other parts of life that I'm looking forward to that don't involve, well, they kind of involve children. <laughs> we have our state fair coming off on August 5th. To have state fair, I missed it so much last year, and I'm so excited to eat all the food. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm, I love state fair, so I'm also very excited to attend this year. And I mean, we may be biased because we live here, but the Wisconsin State Fair is the best state fair. <laughs> so much food, the Expo Center, it's huge with all of the, um, you know, info marshals. Yeah, I think my favorite building though is our, um, sorry, I know you can't see me. <laughs> but the Wisconsin Products Pavilion, where you get to go try, they have yeah. a whole bunch of different vendors from around the state of Wisconsin, and they all bring in like their different things that they make. So I like the Door County cherries; those are really good. Um, yeah, I think it's the building that the pretzel company is in too. Oh yeah, there. I, I know exactly there. It's been a lot of time in the Wisconsin <laughs> Products Pavilion. Yeah, and, and then, then Sundays baked potatoes. Well, I think Cedar uh, Crest is in there too. Yeah. Cedar Crest ice cream is so good. I mean, it tends to be just a little bit less expensive to get a meal there than it is like in any of the food truck there. The only thing I'm sad about was they used to have Palermo pizza in there and then they switched that out, I think, not last year because we don't have it last year. A couple years ago, they they brought in a different pizza like company. It. And I just like Palermo better. Um, <laughs> what else? Oh, I have, I have. My, my husband has relatives that show animals there, so it's always fun to see them and see what they're showing. They also do have yarn dyers there that sell at the fair. And this is like the first time where like I kind of like understand what goes into yarn dyeing, so I'm really excited to take a look and to probably purchase at least one skinny. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they have, um, just because I'm very new. But you do find more yarn dyers at our maker's fair. 
Yeah, they have the one that's totally. Oh, I'm so, so I'm a super nerd. Um, I have like a D and D campaign that I'm a part of. <laughs> I know how to play Magic the Gathering. Um, so yeah, I they have one that I don't remember the name of it because the first couple times I saw it, it was not like I knew nothing about yarn. I'm like, oh, Sam might like this. I never purchased it. Um, but it's got a D20 on the label, so I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> that just that's cool. And so, yeah, see here. And then I booked my next year Disney vacation. So I turned 30 next year. And so for my 30th birthday, my husband said that I could. It's gonna be my first time like staying on property in. It'll be. It'll be four years. It's also gonna be my first time going with three children. I'm very scared. that I've taken with just my family without like, it's gonna be our first one too next year. Without like extended family, like we love staying with parents and stuff or yeah. you know, spending time with them, but it'll be just very different. So what free. resort are you staying in? Uh, okay, West. So the rooms are super nice, really up to you. It was the first DVC resort. Um, nice updating. Um, we're excited because we'll be able to actually cook food in our hotel room and my husband is an amazing cook. Um, so we'll do that a couple days. We'll probably get some food services. Well, I'm going out and doing food and wine, so I'm definitely going to have to budget money to go sample a bunch of stuff. But we're only going to be at Epcot for one day. Ooh, that's going to be hard. Um, so I'm really going to have to plan it out and look at the menus and see. Because obviously, if you guys follow us on Instagram, so if you've seen our recent collection, it is food and wine inspired. <laughs> We're chasing each other down the hall for the notebook and pen. It's I'll clean it up later. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah, food, food and food puns, and a lot of those pictures are currently at Food and Wine Festival. Yes. The only thing I'm upset about is that I mean I'm not gonna be there at all, but they're opening up half of the food booths after October first. I mean, I would be sad about that if I was a decisive person, which I'm not, so it actually helps my indecision. Like, oh, I have half as many choices to make. Because when we stayed um, a few years ago where we could walk to Epcot during Food and Wine. Beach like, Club is the best resort. It's not it really is. Um, we would go and I'd be like, oh, I want this, I want this, and I want this. And then by the time, like, it's like, I'm so full. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want this. I Do want I really want to spend five dollars on a shrimp? No, we were on the food plan, so it would have been free. I still couldn't figure out what I wanted, though. But you only had one snack. Oh, but you could get three. Yeah. That was the problem. You had to find three things at a food booth that you wanted for a quick service snack, or for food service credit. Quick, a quick service credit. <laughs> or, or you had to use your snack credit. And, and then you're like, okay, so how much should I be looking for? Like what's cheap enough for me to pay for and what's gonna be worth it to use my snap credit on? There's so many decisions, okay, listen. So I overthink and I overanalyze everything and I have really bad anxiety. So when I booked my vacation, I'd already changed my hotel from the time I booked my vacation. And it was literally like the next morning, I, was, I like emailed my travel agent and I'm like, can I change resorts? And I was like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we didn't get a, well, I mean, we could have chosen resorts, but we got, a very discounted DVC hotel, so we didn't really want to choose anything more expensive. Yeah, I mean, we're so we we're gonna stay at an all-star resort since it's gonna be my first trip going without my mom. <laughs> Which is really oh, sad. God, I'm gonna be thirty. This is gonna be my first Disney vacation without my mom. <laughs> I'm thirty-one, and this will be our first. So, <laughs> and so, yeah. My mom took care of a lot of the decision making, or like I didn't have to worry about like the money of it. <laughs> Cause yeah. we got free dining. Yeah. And then my mom would pay for the room since like we would go as a big family. My mom would pay for the rooms. We would pay for our park tickets. Mm -hmm. And then any extras we wanted. Yeah. Um, but like trying to decide like your budget and then stick to your budget and then figure out what resort you want. Figure out like what you want to spend more money on. Like what's important. And so we decided Art of Animation was going to be the best for so us fun. and our children. Cause they have a really cool playground. They have a splash pad that the baby, so the baby will be one when we go. So they have a really nice Nemo themed splash pad that like the kids can go play at where I don't have to worry about like jackets. Yeah. So I'm really excited. So we're gonna stay in the Little Mermaid room and it looks so cute. I've, we stayed in it once. Yep. 
Just well, one night. The th- my mom and us we yes. stayed there together. Like, yeah, okay. so we went on a girls trip and we stayed over a night at Disney just one night and we stayed in a little mermaid room. Yeah, it was fun. But guys, we snuck out. So we going went from negative 40 to positive 40 is not work. No. I only brought flip flops to Florida. I was, I was so like bundled cool. up in a sweater and a scarf. I was buy them. I didn't buy a sweater. Because I didn't That was the year of the polar vortex. <laughs> so it was so cold here. We was It was literally negative 40 for that whole I know. And I was like, we're leaving. I'm so happy that we're leaving. But then it was like 40 degrees in Florida and we're walking around Disney and I'm on like a t-shirt and I'm shivering. I'm like, uh, I thought I was going to be warm and I am so cold. That was like, what was that? Years ago, it was a long time ago. It was right after I got married. It was a long time ago. But I'm very excited to go stay at this resort. I totally forgot what led into that. I'm not gonna lie. I have such bad, I have such bad pregnancy brain. Like I forgot what resorts we stayed at, and you've already stayed there once. Yes. My mom's gonna go stay at Caribbean Beach, but we haven't stayed there since. You've never stayed there. That was the year you didn't go. That was the first year we went with Nick. I was married. I just got married. I had no money. That was, I think I got engaged that year. Was that the year? Yeah. No. Was it? Yeah, I did. I got engaged right before that. And this was before children. So I had gone to Italy with my now husband and his family. And we got engaged to Rome. And then a couple months later, we went to Disney with my family. We stayed to Caribbean Beach, but it was under construction when they were doing the huge refurb at the time and then my mom hated it so she's like i'm never going back and that's where they're staying this year so well you know it's been like over a decade or about a decade eight years six six years six years so you know maybe it's better yeah i don't know i think that our biggest issue was um the buses did not come very frequently and then there's just so much construction going on it really did kind of put a damper on like just the resort itself it was a beautiful resort and I mean, I would go back once, you know, actually, I'll go visit it. Maybe we'll go to Sebastian's Bistro. I just saw food review of Sebastian's Bistro from Cajun to Tomorrow. It looks so good. <laughs> That's the best way to visit Disney resorts is go eat at the restaurants. Yeah, it's very true. That's how we found our, like, little spots, beach clubs. Yeah, so we would eat at... We're fighting. Really? Okay. Go get the soccer ball. Go get the soccer ball. Go get the ball. Okay, we'll keep the ball with her. You can kick it. Go kick it. Don't kick it. Go find the ball. Go kick it. You do have to specify we kick balls and not our cousins. We'll be her anyways. You probably will. Anyways, so that's the best way to find out about new resorts. Go to the restaurants, you can look around the resort. Yeah, try shops, the gift shops. Yeah, so, what's the Oh, Whispering, Whispering Canyon. We loved it there. They kind of calmed down a bit in the years. But when you'd have to scream, catch up! And then everyone runs and brings catch up to your table. So much fun. We like the obnoxious because I also love 50s prime time. I love 50s. I think their food is good, but I love like pot pie and things like that. So, so her her um, husband's first time going with us. We went to 50s prime time. <laughs> he was so angry. He sworn it off because we got to our table and our waitress forgot the napkins. So she made him go back to the front and get the napkins. And he's like, "How dare you?" <laughs> okay, my husband is a very uh, very frustrated, and he had just flown in that day and was really <laughs> so, tired. It was so funny. And he, he's really fun to make fun of, especially when he's crabby and oh, yeah. he just wouldn't stop. And like, it was hysterical. He's like, "I'm never going back here. This is the worst restaurant ever." And I'm like, "This is the best. I love yeah, this." We and the he food is like I food. love the food there. I think most people do because oh. really, I don't know. I think it makes sense. It was fun so before I started trying food, I would only eat macaroni and cheese. Well, it's not only. It's not only what I would eat, but I would like that was like my goal. Is like I would go and look for the best macaroni and cheese. I know. I'm five. I don't care. <laughs> so I figured it out. The 50s prime time has really good macaroni and cheese, and so does the Garden Grill in Epcot. I want to try that one though. So they put goldfish on top of the macaroni and cheese. I mean, I love goldfish. I've eaten big to it, the kids. it was so good. What else? They also, oh, because we were going with my brother and he he wasn't, no, he was still a child at the time. So he was on the child meal plan. 
and he would eat the adult stuff. So we basically just swapped meal plans because I would eat the kids stuff and he would eat the adult yeah. stuff. And so they brought me out this delicious whoopie pie. It was a red velvet oh, whoopie pie. So it was so good. And you can still get that whoopie pie at um, Sunshine Seasons in the Land Pavilion, which is right downstairs from where the Garden Girl is. I like the Land Pavilion. They have really good breakfast stuff there. They, they good I just, well, me and my mom, we would always split. It was a, um, it was a turkey sandwich on ciabatta. And that's like, I think the first time I got introduced to ciabatta bread, like as like a sandwich uh, bread. So good. <laughs> I so good. I think they got rid of it right now, though. So, so sad. But and all we've talked about is food now. <laughs> and Disney. We have rambled on for quite a bit now yeah. about Disney and our lives. <laughs> and waiting for our children to stop fighting with each other. <laughs> so we appreciate you hanging through. Yes, we hope you enjoyed us rambling. And let us know what your favorite restaurant to eat at Disney is. So that, I guess that's all for me for life updates. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I booked my Disney. That's really it. And then I have to book plane tickets. Just <sighs> doctor's appointments right now. Which is fine. They're four weeks apart still. That's nice. okay. That's one week. That'll be. Well, it's only at 36 weeks. Oh. So. And so my daughter had at, right after 38 weeks, I had my daughter. And then my son literally came at midnight. Then he was due. So he was due on the the 18th of June, and I went into labor at midnight on the 19th. My oldest was four days late and didn't want to come out, you know, cut her out of me. And my second one was supposed to be born on my 30th birthday, but she came on her uncle's birthday. So. <laughs> she was a couple days late. A couple days late. I my kids don't come early. They like to hang out. Mine did. But mine are big. We have small babies too, so. <laughs> You looked at her. You're playing chase. That's what she does. It's so funny. my house sounds like all the time. It's really screaming because she wants to be chased or pushed over or she likes to grab her older sister and whip her down. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you for checking out our video. Yes. If we you will to... probably edit some of this out. I know. I gotta do the editing and Chris has homework tonight, so. Lulu went that way. Did she hit you in the nose? Did she boop you? <laughs> um, so it's probably just going to be unedited, um, maybe pull some sound out if I can, but my husband has to go work on our computer. So, well, we hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully we'll have another video next week. Uh, if you like our stuff, like, comment, and subscribe. And we didn't even tell them what the... Oh, our theme for next month. <laughs> Guys, we're a mess today. Maybe we can see that for the next video. Okay, so for the next video. Because I am planning, I'm very excited. Because we can do this now because we just record on my phone right now. And then she's, she's like, oh, I can edit. And I'm like, okay. So I'm planning to cook some Disney food because I'm so excited about my vacation. And obviously we love food. So maybe the next video can be a cooking tutorial based on oh, our yeah, that colors. Yeah, really cool. We have to dye our new colors. We got to figure them out <laughs> We have the idea. We know what we're gonna do. It's just we gotta do it. <laughs> well, you, you did just get the colors of the other day. So. I did. All right. Well, if you like our stuff, like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you so we can interact with you instead of just interacting with each other. <laughs> That's okay. uh, but we do appreciate all the love you guys have been giving us on Instagram and yeah. all the like the ways that you've been commenting. That really helps us. Um, it lets us know that we're going in the right direction. Yeah. That so we know that you like what we're doing. Um, in the clothes that we have. And if you ever have any questions about our yarn, about us, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, I'm pretty open about everything. Yeah, I feel like we both kind of are. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It's, it's kind of, when you have small children, it's kind of hard to stay private. Because <laughs> they're just very loud. And they tell everybody everything. Yes. Yes, they do. 